For me, co-working is something that is conceptually very simple. It's just about coming together and benefiting from working together. People have always co-worked, right? It's as old as human history. People have chosen voluntarily to do productive things beside each other as peers. In about 2005, uh, a guy in San Francisco called Brad Neilberg uh, opened the first space called Spiral Muse under the term co-working. And in a way, his original call to action still has a lot of resonance with the community. He was essentially saying, what I want is a space that has the best of both worlds, the best of independent working from home as an individual, as an autonomous individual, and the best of the collegiate and community atmosphere of an organisation, without all the politics and messiness and alienation that many people describe at work. I often describe co-working as a noun, an adjective, and a verb, which is from a book called I'm Out of Here. It's a noun in the sense that there is this, what I'd call a social or cultural movement of co-working. They have a set of values they subscribe to in a very broad sense. An adjective in the sense we have many co-working spaces around the world. But my own interest is in this idea of co-working as a verb, as something that people choose to do together and they can really do anywhere. One of the common narratives here within Hub Melbourne is, is people who try freelancing working from home and they feel isolated, they feel lonely working at home, or their home life intersects with their working life. So they come here and they work collectively, they work collaboratively. And there's a sort of productive osmosis from being around other people with their heads buried in laptops. This idea that if you have a graphic designer and an investor and a, someone working on climate change and a social media expert, kind of naturally out of that, like a, an ecological phenomenon, you'd get interesting new ideas rather than the group think that people say can characterise the departments. One of the really interesting questions is how does a 30,000 person organisation like a, a Telstra or a NAB or a, a um, City of Melbourne for that, for that matter, how do these existing organisations engage with uh, this idea, co-working? Now there's a real, really good reason why big business want to come into co-working spaces and why they want to engender co-working in their own spaces. It's really around this sort of idea that they are running out of ideas, they are less innovative, they aren't responding to the big issues, um, uh, they are in, in search of creativity uh, and that's the promise of co-working.